This video shows how I made my second vacuum chamber. The first vacuum chamber was made out of a random storage pot. It works well, but I have rectangular molds which won't fit inside of it. To remedy this problem, I decided to make another chamber out of a steam table pan. These pans are commonly seen at buffets. They sit above a tray of water which evenly controls the temperature of the pan's contents. This pan is made of 23 gauge stainless steel, which may seem thin for use in a non-circular vacuum chamber, but once the lid seals to the top under vacuum, it will hold its shape. As with my last chamber, I'll be using a half inch thick sheet of polycarbonate. I start out by marking where I want the barb fitting to go on the sheet. Using a drill guide to ensure the hole is perpendicular to the surface, I step up to my desired hole size by using five bits of increasing diameter, after which I chamfer the hole. Next, I began tapping the hole with a quarter inch NPT tap. After running the tap, I test the fitting I'll be using. These are tapered threads, so the depth to which the tap is run is important. Tape was applied to the fitting, then the fitting was driven into place. With the fitting in place, it's time to make the gasket for the chamber. This will be done using the foam rubber matting normally used to keep dishes from sliding around on cabinet shelves. It holds the vacuum I require, it cuts easily, it's cheap, and is readily available. First I mark and cut the outer edge of the gasket. Next I measure and mark the inner edge of the gasket using the tray as a straight edge. When it comes time to cut out the intersection of the gasket, I first use a scalpel to cut the corners far enough to get a pair of scissors inside, and then finish with the scissors. I clean off the gasket and set it on the tray. Next I cut a section of tubing. One end of this tubing will attach to a set of fittings ending with a quick connect coupling. The other will attach to the polycarbonate lid. The chamber is now ready to test. A gentle push is all that's required to seat the gasket, after which it holds a vacuum with no issue. For the chamber's first run, I'm using a CNC machined pattern for Inman Park coffee. I place a length of masking tape around the perimeter to hold the silicone when it expands under vacuum. Food safe silicone is mixed and poured. The pattern then goes into the chamber and is degassed. Afterwards, the excess is screeded off the pattern. When the cure time has elapsed, the silicone is demolded. With no defects in the silicone mold, the flashing will be trimmed off with a scalpel, and then it will be ready to use. If you have any questions about this project or other ideas for things I might try, please let me know.